Okay, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and start off with would to be is to add your vibe chair where you most likely are sitting so you can go ahead and get your measurements from there and we can we can get some measurements for what we're about to do As you can see, from center of the hole to the other center of the hole is approximately 20 and three quarters. So we have to make sure we have enough PVC, which these are these are 24 inches so three of them would be what you would approximately need two to go up and one for the middle and we're using inch and a quarter PVC to fit the, the hose. And I did a little quick sketch on what we're gonna need to, to make this rod holder capable. We're gonna need 90s on both sides, 245s and three cross PVC for the rod holders so as we go ahead and start we're gonna go ahead and cut some of these PVCs into getting our 45s up our 90s across and then we'll go ahead and measure in for the the cross that we were going to add our rod holders on. Go ahead and take some measurements from the inside of the hole, which eight and a half would be what we're looking for. So we could go ahead and add our 45s. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out our PVC. to eight and a half. We're gonna go ahead and do that two times for both sides. And we're gonna go, we're gonna cut it with our jigsaw. Looper. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and measure our second eight and a half inch piece on our 24 inch PVC and we're going to cut that also Another blooper, but it's okay. We'll get through this, I promise you.
All right. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and test fit it and see if our 45s will match exactly where we need them. So here we go. We, we're just test fitting it. We're not gluing it at the moment yet, but as you can see, we got our eight inch pieces with our 45s with the leftovers that we have from the, the eight and a half inch piece. We go ahead and just, we're just test fitting it, making sure that this is gonna go ahead and fit. see it's starting to come along then you could test fit your 90s across and as we go here that's somewhat what it's going to start looking like until we get the cross PVCs in there. So stay tuned. So from right here, you're gonna measure from the inside, which is about an inch. And from where you have it there, to about an inch here. We're gonna go ahead and make a mark because that's where we're gonna go ahead and cut it again. So it can match up. Another blooper. gonna test fit that as well to make sure that's where that's the link that we're looking for right there okay now as we got that we're gonna go ahead and add the cross T's here So these are the T's, I mean the crosses that I was talking about right here that we're going to go ahead and add. I measured from here to the inside about an inch so we could go ahead and put our first one. I did the same thing also to the other side, an inch in to put our first, our, our second one so it gives us about an inch in the middle for our, our, our third one.
So as the first one's getting done, we're gonna add some of this glue to the inside here and also to the outside of here. Go ahead and bang it so it's fully in. Now two more times to get all these crosses added on. is a very critical moment right here because this is gonna let you know if your three crosses are exactly straight up and down like you want them right before the glue settles and that looks pretty good all right so we're gonna go ahead and test fit it one more time to see if that's what we were looking for right there we'll go ahead and twist them up Now we'll go ahead and glue the 90s 
and the 45 and we're there so the best way to do this is go ahead and make a little mark here and here so nothing turns on you here and here here to here and also do this bottom one do it to both sides so nothing turns on you here here Got more of a, a direction which way they're gonna be so things don't start turning on you. 